about a few seconds. Mm -mm. No, it's going. <laughs> so we've got glute bridges are a very popular exercise and I'm not a huge fan of it just because people are not aware of their body enough and they don't know when they're moving through their hips. They don't know when they're moving through their back. They have no connection to where their hips and low back are. So Brittany is going to show me what I usually see. So give me a bad one. And back down. So to me, there, that's nothing in the hips. To me, that is all low back. So give me a few. Because when I tell people we're going to do a glute bridge, they're like, ah, I don't want to do that. That hurts my back. Well, you're literally hinging through your back. And it's back, crunching your back, and then crunching your back. So I like to add a reach to my glute bridges. So Brittany, give me a reach. You're going to breathe in through your nose, full exhale. Notice her ribs are going down, so she's getting some good abs. And then I tell them, keep these abs on. You can keep a reach and now come up. And that's as far as she can go. Most people don't have full hip extension. So you might feel a stretch right on the hips. Totally fine with that. But keep that brace and go back and down using your hips instead of your back. So the other thing you can do, give me another reach, Brittany. So notice, look at her ribs pop out. So kind of suck your stomach in a little. Inhale, exhale, get the ribs down. Bring your feet a little closer to you. I want you to feel the whole foot. That's super important, not just the heels. And you're gonna come up, then hold. Instead of squeezing your butt, because I'm not a fan of that either, because it's gonna put your pelvis in a bad position. If you push your whole entire foot on the ground, you will definitely feel butt and hamstrings. From there, Brittany, bring your arms down and give me a march. That's tough. Good, I like changing. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks. I like changing lives. So I like to do this one in class, because right there, you keep your abs on. You don't go into your low back. Uh, what about using weight on like hip thrusters, like on a bench? Is that what you're asking? Um, yeah, we can actually show you that. So Brittany, let's do a hip thruster. I actually got this from Mike Robertson and Bill, so I cannot take credit. Do you know the hip thruster walking? So do regular hip thruster. I'm not a fan. Most people can't control their pelvis, and then they just kind of shoot into that anterior capsule. Mm there might look neutral but a lot of people can't control their abs and they just kind of shoot through the hip capsule and then they just hurt so i got this from bill hartman and mike robertson it's a hip thruster walking so what you do it's really really hard so you'll come up on one leg give me an exhale good and as you inhale micah loves these you're going to extend one leg Inhale, come up. Notice her ribs are down. She's not flaring. And then exhale, come down. So the breathing. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. Bring your left foot away from you a tiny bit. Same thing, whole foot. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, what's she doing? What does that look like? It looks like walking. Left hamstring, right quad, keep abs on. So that is a hip thruster that I do like. And then most people can't control their pelvis, but that's all I've got today. Hopefully that helps, especially with the glute bridges for the warm-up. <laughs> I don't know how to stop it.